All right, so this is the first week of our not so random jar. Jar of semi randomness. Yeah, like the, it's still random the topics we pick, but we have a week to gestate on them. Ooh, good word. I know, right? Good, really good <laughs> so word. The very God. first one we picked is a very exciting one. Yeah, this I, one actually pissed me off too, and I'll tell you why once you say it. Right, but it's a perfect one to pick because there's lots to talk about. Yep. We're talking about juggalos. See, that's insane what, clown posse fans. I was pissed off. That you pick this Why? because I did mine, and I don't know if any of them are as good as Juggalo. <laughs> oh, fuck, that's so good. There's so much to, to research and talk about. And so interesting. You could pick one little avenue of the Juggalo life, and you have pages upon pages of, and of material. These people are so captivating to watch. Oh my so god! So are they ever. I just want to give a whoop whoop to my fam. Whoop whoop. Yeah, it's all yeah, about whoop. family. It's all about family. Whoop all whoop. about family. So my first introduction to ICP. First of all, they've been around since like '89. Yeah, like their first album factions. came out like or like '92 or three or yeah. something. They have 15 albums. That's fucking. That's a huge library. They made like two or three movies. Really? Oh yeah. Ooh, Big okay, Money we, Hustlers. We gotta watch an ICP. Big movie. Money Hustlers. We gotta watch an it's ICP movie. Not good. Well, we gotta watch an ICP. <laughs> if if, if ha- not for this, then we should at least watch. If you it. thought Haggard was bad, <laughs> I did think Haggard was bad. Um, so yeah, with with my first introduction to ICP, never even heard of them. I think I was in grade ten or something. I was in the library at school. Someone brought in their their fucking Sony Walkman. Yeah. Like you gotta listen to this song by ICP. I'm like, what the fuck is an ICP? It's insane clown posse. And this would have been like 1999 or yeah, something, yeah, right? Yeah. And it was the dating game. Do you remember that oh, song? Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was not, it was a half song, half like skit. Skit, yeah, yeah. And it was like the dating game. So this girl like, oh, like contestant number one, like wh- how, what would you do on your first date? Yeah, like, then they rap. And then the, they rap what they do. I'll tell you what, I'll fucking stretch out your titties down past your waist and eat your ass or something. It was graphic. It was very graphic. <laughs> very graphic. And then the two rappers like go off against each other. Um, Shaggy Too Dope and Violent J. <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah, I think my first song was Homies. Oh, talking about homies. Homies. Oh, that's an okay song. And it's yeah, like, I, it, why are these guys in clown makeup, though? I was like, what? who are these weird. people? And the song Miracles? You introduced me to that one. And that's, that's, a, good, that's a newer yeah, ICP song. That's, that's like, a good song. <laughs> so how long until you get a Hatchet Man tattoo? Uh, never. <laughs> So I remember a couple of years ago, you were really into watching videos on The Gathering, which is their annual festival. Yeah, it's thing. where all the, the jugglers congregate in one area. Yeah, and it's about, you. I think their attendance is always hovers right around that 10,000 kind of mark they were saying. Like, it's I not like so. a yeah, Woodstock yeah. where it's like 100,000 or yeah. anything like that. But it's, it's 10. Well it's attended. Yeah, yeah. And it's not about music, strictly. It's As much, yeah. Comedy. There's fucking freak shows. There's wrestling. There's wrestling. There's um. They say comedians already. Yeah. There's perform. There's a carnival, um, and on the last day of every gathering, yep. there's the Miss Juggalette. Miss Juggalette. Did Conquest. you watch the? Of course I did. <laughs> One of the videos we, I guess, we both watched was uh, becoming Miss Juggalette or competing in Miss Juggalette. I saw, there's and, a, and, so many videos. I don't know if we watched the exact. Did you watch the one with where they were following Miss Cyanide? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So Miss Cyanide is a rapper on her own. She is yeah, also I mean, a juggalette. She raps. She, she raps. <laughs> She's a juggalette and her, her with her boyfriend named Fat Kid. <laughs> <laughs> it was rare not to see a fat guy. Or Most fat of the women. We were talking to were fat. Were heavy. Or heavy definitely or meth. And love smoking. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not just drugs. Yeah. Cigarettes. A lot of cigarette smokes in the ju- juggalo world. I was watching one. It was it was called American Juggalo. And his one guy was his say he was doing whippets. Oh, really? He had like a whole whippet kit. Fuck. That's was, fucked up. That's fucked like, up. Their interview was like, oh, I've probably fucking done like 100 whippets over the weekend. I'm like, good lord, your brain it must be mush. How think, can you think? I think meth is probably better than fucking that, that many. That many? I think once whippets. in a while, the whippet it won't hurt you. God. See, I can't do whippets because I like whipped cream too Also, much. we're grown men. <laughs> Just do drugs. <laughs> do real drugs, you pussy. <laughs> Holy shit. What the fuck happened to real drugs? Oh, go to the gathering. <laughs> it's, uh, there's lots of drugs. But I definitely had a, a different idea of what the gathering was before I actually delved into this okay. over this past week. Think? Well, I remember you were saying like, dude, we got it. We should go to the gathering one year. Yes. I, I think a lot of that was probably joke, but you were like 60% you would, you would go. Yes, I definitely. If you had an opportunity. I went and I, I went as far as like, 
looking to when the date was, how far the drive was. Eight, eight hours and 17 minutes. How, and, <laughs> and then, then how much tickets were and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, that didn't see, it didn't see. I just looked up how far it was because I'll, I'll tell you, I thought these people were human trash before I started this, uh-huh. right? And I thought I w- if I showed up to this gathering because this bit is, it's about violence and everything like that, right. like, I would get my ass kicked. I'd probably get stabbed, possibly murdered because these are like violent, aggressive, angry people. No. And they're not. No. They're really not. The juggle of life, woo woo. Is all about family and acceptance. Yeah. And even though you, in your normal life, maybe you have a shitty job, maybe you don't have parents, maybe you kind of grew up half on the streets. When you go to the gathering, you're among family. And it's a kind of a, I don't know, if beautiful is the right term, but it's a it's a special place for these people that they can group together yeah. and and be one. And that's the place I can let loose. I saw so many fucking fat people there on yeah. these videos. Shirts off. And titties. Letting it all hang out. I saw the biggest pair of man's breasts I have ever seen. I've struggled with weight all my life. I've never once felt accepted with my shirt off anywhere, right? You're going to look ripped here. I'm going to look ripped at the <laughs> gathering. One of my favorite times as a kid, and it was one evening, I went to my local swimming hole where I used to cottage in Batesville. Yeah. And there was a bridge we'd all jump off. And I'd go and I'd swim because I love swimming. But as soon as I was out of the water for one second, I'm popping a towel over myself yeah, yeah. or a shirt or yeah. something to hide myself because I did not feel accepted and I didn't want to get teased, right? Well, this one evening, I don't know who these fucking guys were. They were three guys. Huge. Each one of them, the, the smallest guy was 306 pounds. <laughs> Yeah. But they were big, tough-looking fucking okay. guys. Yeah, yeah. Nobody was fucking with these three. And they're like, hey, what's up, man? Like, come on. Like, where do you guys jump off? And I was, like, hanging out with these guys. I had my shirt on the they? whole time. I would have been about 13. Okay. So they're probably, like, 18 or something. Like, older older yeah, okay, kids. Okay, okay, okay. They're, like, badass dude. Like, they had tattoos and shit. Ooh. They might have been juggalos. I don't even know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but I, I really felt accepted among these, like, three other huge fat guys. And I think at the gathering, that's what it's about. They Now, I have never been to one, but <laughs> they talk about how there's no fights. There's no fights at the gathering. Everybody gets along. They yeah. have their own security team. And ICP themselves say, we don't have cops come in. Yeah, We hire our own security team. So if some girl gets up on a guy's shoulder and flashes her titties, that's her choice. She's allowed to do that. Yeah, but who would stop her anyways? A cop else? might. No. A cop might. Dude, that- I've been to music festivals and concerts. I'm just going by way more than you. I'm just going by what they said. <laughs> that's not true. That's what they said. That's not true. I'm not saying that. That's yeah, what ICP said. You're agreeing with it. Well, yeah, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been to zero music festivals. It's on, inter- it's on the internet. It's gotta be true. true. ICP wouldn't lie. Nothing they can do. Well, anyways, whatever. They talk about how they have their own security so they can get away with all festivals hire their own security though. Okay, well, I don't know why you're mad at me. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not know. saying. Like, <laughs> so yeah, I've come to think. You know what? I've sort of changed. I bet I could get talked into going to the gathering now. No. no. You would have an awful time. No. You got to camp out. I like camping. Not like that. Oh, yeah. Too much party for you. Seems like I could party at my own will, though. No, it's all around you, though, all the time. Yeah, you can. No yeah. one's going to judge you for not, but exactly. you're not escaping the party ever. I have an RV in, in this thing. I'm not using a tent. Oh, I'm not. You know, first of all, I can't rent RVs and go over state lines into a new country. Or buy one. You know, buy an RV. Yeah. Okay. A shitty one. <laughs> just, Real shitty. Just, um, but yeah. The, uh, one of the quotes I, uh, from one of the videos I watched was, there's no bigotory in juggaloism. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> because uh, these people seem very nice. Yes. They seem like fucking dumb. Dumb people. Though. At least the people they're interviewing, yeah. anyways. White trash and dumb. Yes, generally but speaking. nice. But nice, <laughs> and they're very accepting of other lifestyles. Lots of boobies. Lots of boobies. Lots of boobies. Uh, one video I watched was uh, highlighting this kid who was actually part of the Make a Wish Foundation. Oh yeah, yeah when yeah, he was yeah. a child, yeah. and he said his wish was to go to the go fucking to gathering. Yeah. He seems. I mean, he's got some pretty bad liver issues, and he's got like a uh, uh, fuck. I forget. It's not a shit bag. Um, but it's something that he puts shit into his liver, like through his body. He's oh, got a stint. Okay, yeah. He's yeah, got like an outside yeah. medical device, but he seems fine now. He's in his twenties, so I guess. What happens? What happens if you're a Make a Wish kid and you survive, but you get a wish? Do you have to like pay it back? Oh uh, no! I mean, I think most of the Make a Wish kids do die. 
You might not die then, but do you like, think they're pissed off with you though? I think you got five years. Yeah. <laughs> they're not pissed off. Are you still fucking alive? We spent a hundred grand on your wish, kid. Oh fuck! A lot of the wishes are so easy, you know. It's like meet John Cena. Oh fuck! They just line him up. John Cena's got a day. He just meets like fucking hundred of those tards. Oh my god, be so <laughs> be so upsetting. Like, oh, you're gonna die. Here's the world record die. for most make wishes a wish made or whatever. Yeah. Made, yeah. So yeah. The but speaking of John Cena, juggles love wrestling. They do love wrestling. They love wrestling, and they love deathmatch wrestling. <laughs> Who doesn't? Though? So when I was, well, lots of people. <laughs> when I was at Tournament of Death, there was a, you could, there was juggalos. Yeah. You see juggalos all the time. Face paint and everything. Nah, face paint, but wearing like the ICP jersey yeah. or their shirts man. are hatch man yeah. tattooed stuff. Whoop whoop. Whoop whoop. <laughs> <laughs> juggalos. Uh, the other thing is too, in uh, in uh, 2011, yeah. the FBI classified juggalos as a, as, gang. As a loose. Gang organization, yeah, because they couldn't count the numbers, and uh, ICP is still fighting it, yeah, which is fucked up. These people don't seem like terrorists. They don't belong to any uh, um, um, political group. They're not like alt right. They're not Antifa. Yeah, they're just juggalos. They're pretty. They probably don't vote. They're pretty dumb. They probably don't even <laughs> vote. Yeah, <laughs> leave um, them alone. Yeah. So, like, similarly, like, why isn't then like people in the punk rock a gang yeah you know what i mean like what's the difference or like metalheads yeah what's the difference they there is a costume associated yeah. look right grindcore folk that's, that's way angrier than <laughs> icp's doing mostly because i can't understand what they're saying yeah, yeah. so they could be saying anything i could be listening to grindcore it could be preaching like nazi speech and i wouldn't know and i'd be really into it like head banging like you know what you're listening to really? right like no it's just guttural sounds <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So I think that, I was listening to a grindcore band. And they do make a, they were making a, like oinking noises, like pig noises. Like sure. <laughs> why not? Why not? <laughs> like, all right. That's definitely a music I do not understand. <laughs> Love the documentary though. Um, yeah, I think FBI's got to fucking chill out a bit. And now people that are associate, like let's say you work, I don't know, whatever, wherever. People are talking about this one girl was actually in the military and mm-hmm. she had a hatchet man tattoo. And when people found out. She was a juggalo. They wanted to kick her out of the military. Yeah. And she's like, I'm an American citizen. I fought for our country. And no. now you're saying I'm some kind of terrorist or gang member? Fucked up. That's yeah. Really, really fucked up. People have even said they've had their kids taken away or have lost their jobs because they're juggalos. I think there's more to that, those stories. I'm sure <laughs> there is. I'm sure there is. These people are fucking white trash. I think you're you're generalizing a, a little bit. They're white trash, not in a bad way. It's <laughs> <laughs> just like they're white because that's the, one of the things they talk about too. They go, oh, you know, we're all inclusive, all walks of life. Yeah, we don't give a shit. But then, like, there's barely a non-white guy around. I saw three black people in all the videos <laughs> I watched. Three. <laughs> that's pretty low. I counted yeah. three. What the one of the ones that I watched? One of the black guys was just Danny Brown, who was one of the performers. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that. I didn't. I didn't watch that. I've watched that one with you before. Yeah, we were yeah, watching. Yeah. Um, Gathering clips. So like that's they're white trash, and not necessarily, but we, they came from poor for them. For sure, and they talk about it openly, right? Yeah, they're yeah. very open with their like, hey, I didn't grow up with fucking parents. I spent uh, a lot of time on the street, yeah, and I never felt I had a family until I found ICP this. and Juggalos. Yeah. Yeah. Now I have family. Woo woo! It's all about fam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been to an ICP show. Yeah, I've seen them play live. We played a pretty good prank, though. Who we, did? They did. We did. Like people, not on ICP, but oh, okay. one of the guys we were with, we're like, he's like, we, we were, we were standing back a little bit. We could still see the stage fine, sure. But I know that they spray, and my friend knew they spray Fago. Oh, I forgot about talk about Fago Cola everywhere, right? All over the place. Like we know that's their thing. Well, my other friend didn't know. So we're like, now we're good back here. Like you go up ahead though. Yeah, you yeah. Go up ahead. <laughs> Just covered fucking dollar Sticky store pop soda. <laughs> I had Fago on. It's pretty good. It's all, it's fine. It's. I think a lot of juggles probably have diabetes, mostly because of Fago. Yeah. It was very syrupy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, oh yeah. So every year they do uh, the Miss Juggalette contest, yeah. and before 2010, uh, for years Ron Jeremy was the host, mm-hmm. and it was mostly about how naked can you get and how slutty can you how be slutty on stage. Be. Yeah. And they found it very a lot of the Juggalettes and even Juggalos found it actually very demeaning. And fuck, I should have wrote her name down. There was uh, a juggalette that turned it around. And she decided, no, this is going to be about 
performing. If you want to get up, and this is the beautiful thing about Juggalos, if you want to get on stage, be naked and shove the microphone up your pussy. That's your choice. That's your choice. That's not because that's but he shouldn't you shouldn't be expected. Exactly. That's not how you're going to win. Yeah. So Ron Jeremy is no longer associated with the Miss Juggalette. And now it can be, you know, there's people doing, um, there was um, a fire eater girl. Yeah, there's a the rapper. Around. Like she rap. Yeah, Miss Cyanide. Terribly. Oh, she, she, right. she bombed. <laughs> the first year she bombed. The second year she brought it back. I, I watched, watched the whole thing. I watched one um, where they had the first trans. Uh, Miss Juggalette. Miss, well, compete. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's beautiful. And it gets super shit. inclusive. Uh, it's it's I, not about being a skank if you, unless you want, unless that's your deal. One of the hosts now is a guy by the name of Kevin Gill. Yeah, who's uh, a wrestling announcer and wrestling podcaster. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. cool. He does his podcast with Conan. Really? Yeah, keeping it one hundred. <laughs> and then like he's it. the announcer for GCW, the Deathmatch stuff Ooh. that I watch. So, yeah, Kevin Gill, big juggalo, really spreads the word. He seems. To have more intelligence than maybe some of the fans. But. <laughs> Spread the words of the fam. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, and people just love ICP. And man, like, I don't, so I don't like ICP as a band. I don't like their music. No, right? That's fine. I haven't listened to enough. But man, they're hustlers. They work hard. They release all their stuff independently. Yeah. They've just done it all themselves. And, and consistent. Like, what did you say, 15 albums? 15 albums in 30 years. Okay. Name, name another band. Oh yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> it's crazy, right? Yeah. So, how many fucking albums has goddamn Childish Gambino released? Zero. <laughs> and that bullshit. This is America song. God, that is a bad song. It's a bad song. It's a bad. Song. Fuck off, everybody. The video, okay, had a, maybe a message. Yeah. But fuck off. The song doesn't. No. This is America. Rip, rip, boom. Yeah. Bang, bang, bang. Guns, guns, guns. Drugs, drugs, drugs. Don't this forget is the money. America. You forgot the money. Money, money, money. Yeah, hustle, hustle. <laughs> Yeah, it's just, it was a very cliche <laughs> kind of rap. The imagery in the video yes. is powerful. Yeah, yeah. But if you're listening to that song in your car, you're probably going to change the goddamn channel. Yeah, yeah. I'd yeah. rather listen to High, High, High by Paul McCartney and Wings. Nice throwback. Yeah. <laughs>